Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I'm Megan, and now you know. Did you know Kiara Sky has regular nail polish? Me either. They have such beautiful products, and I see them used all the time, but they're not in the medium I generally use. So when I discovered they had regular nail polish, imagine how excited I was. Not only do they have it, but they have matching for gel and acrylic as well. So if you see anything you like in any of the mediums, chances are they have it in the other ones as well. Let me show you what I got. So here we have a selection. They are all glitters and they are all very beautiful. I did do some swatches off camera um, to get a general idea. I did have to use several coats to be fair um, because some of these, if they would focus, yes, some of these can be a bit thin on the first coat or so. The ones that have black and white underneath are the ones that are more sparse and so I wanted to see what they would look like with each. But let me tell you, I love these. Definitely, definitely do. That is such a nice gold. And that one really didn't take a whole lot. Isn't this great? So beautiful. I'm going to be able to use these for a lot of stuff. I love them. If you like anything you see in this video, of course, everything will be linked below and you can go and get the regular nail polish yourself or you can get one of the other versions if that's what you prefer. The two that we're going to be focusing on today in this video, though, are going to be this one, which is this one here. Um, it is called Little Black Dress. It is so pretty. And then this one, I'm Bossy. I think it is this one. Yes. Haha, <laughs> let me show you in the camera. That might help. Yes. So these are going to be our two colors that we're going to be using for today's nails. I love them. They're going to be so nice. Of course, before we get started, you know we always need to put on a base coat to not only protect our nails, but to help the polish stick and stay longer. Alright, now that we've got the top coat on, let's go ahead and start with our little black dress black glitter. Now, this one is a bit of a chunky sparse glitter so we will have to put on a couple of coats to get it to be really together but it's so nice when it is it almost gives off a bit of a frosted metal look but it's sparkly and we love sparkles here so let me get on a couple of coats of this and then we will move to the red one. All right, we've got that on there pretty thick to be honest, but it's solid. So let's go ahead and whack on some of this I'm Bossy. Ooh, I like this one so much. I, I believe it is my favorite. Look at me, I'm flooding the whole area. Um, this is my favorite in the whole order that I got because it goes on so opaque and beautifully. I'm only gonna need two coats of this one. Definitely gonna need some cleanup work though, that's apparent. So pardon me for my horrible painting skills. I'm really not that great at it, luckily. 
I can clean up problem areas. So let me do that real quick. There's a little bit much of a cleanup. I don't like a gap this wide, but that's okay. We're gonna fill it in with coat number two. Don't even know that coat number one was dry enough, but that's what we're gonna do. That is super nice. I think it is so pretty and so dark and so rich. I love it. All right. So can you believe these polishes are only about $8.50, $8.50, which in the realm of nail polish, that is a really good price. Let me go ahead and throw a quick dry top coat on here, not only to help dry down so we can get a smooth surface to work with, but also to try and encapsulate some of this glitter a little bit. Boy, these ring nails, I did not mean for that to just drip so hard. They're going to be so thick. Oops. All right, so we've got that on here. If this will clear up at all, who knows? I'm gonna try and add, there we go, some of these little black rhinestones and some of these red ones on some of the fingers. So let's do that real quick. To, that, to do that, I am going to be using this Four Rhinestones Only from China Glaze. Let's start with the pinky, if I can. I'm going to have to try and work moderately quickly so it doesn't dry up on me. doing a good job of getting it on there neatly that's for sure so. is that enough what do you think I think that's enough for that one little nail well I guess it doesn't want you to see okay delightful um, and then we're gonna put some over here as well which will need a little bit more because it's a bigger nail. And... Ah! Don't fall, little rhinestones. I'm going to try really hard not to put any of these on upside down, but if they continue to fall, I may not be able to control that. And see, look, this one's already trying to do the wrong thing. Sir, sir, get out of here. You're not doing the right thing. Ugh. Great, and I need to get some more out because apparently that was not enough. So I have an even amount. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is an even amount. Good. Let's see if I can get them orderly ish. Mm, yeah, well, that'll have to do for now. I may put some caviar beads in between them. I may not. Look, we have a stowaway hiding out here in the end of the tool. I won't show you. And then we need to do the black ones. I can already see we're going to need more of those out before we even get started. That one's not going to be sparkly. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. 
All right. Can't see very well, but we've got some on there. We've got one over here. We'll let them dry for a moment. That one doesn't even look even because look, it's done slid. Let's add another one over here to try and even it out. Get some of this down here. Let's try one more actually. I think the problem is not the... Well, see now that's not even smush it up a little. There we go. It's not even, but who's going to be close enough to tell? The problem is my shape of my thumbnail, not the count. But whatever. Let's do... Let's add another little bit of quick dry top coat just to try and, you know, smooth it out between the rhinestone stuff and the rest of the nail. Let's not cover the rhinestones, however. I don't want them to be less sparkly if we can avoid it. Yes, well, there's that. Now we have one more thing to do for this hand. Because, of course, I do duplicate the other hand as best as possible off camera. But we have this. Kiara Sky Sprinkle on Glitter. This happens to also be Little Black Dress, so it does go with the polish. Look what I've just done. I have just stuck my thumbnail into this right here. My other thumbnail. Uh, let's see if I can smooth it out with a little bit of acetone brush. There we go. That's all right nail polish is a dangerous game. Anyway, back to what we were saying. Let's open this up. Look at this glitter. Isn't that pretty? We're going to put this on our ring finger. So let's not make a mess as best as possible. Let me put that to the side. I have this glitter recycler that we're going to use. Please, focus camera to try and make as little mess as possible and salvage our extra glitter. We're gonna put this on with our base coat. Yes, this is dry enough to put a base coat on it and that way it'll be sticky. So let me go ahead and apply that real quick. We don't need a super thick layer as this nail is already hella thick. But we need enough for it to stick into is all. Alright, so we've got that. We've got this cuticle pusher to be our spoon. Let's not make it come any further than necessary. Pour, pour, pour. Pour, pour, pour. Put some on the sides. Yes, yes, yes. Try not to touch it. Let's tap this nail off in here as best as possible. All right, so let's get that out the way. That's really pretty. We're gonna wait for that to dry before we dust the excess off, of course, because we don't want to lose our work, but that is so beautiful. All right, that's dried down a little bit. Let's see if we can't dust this extra off. Ooh, I'm just dusting it everywhere. Try and keep your dusting to one direction if you got any sense. And then I'm gonna take this tool and kinda see if I can't clean up these edges a little bit where I got a little bit of run over. Yeah, I'll get off of there. Well, I've got glitter all over my hands. I'm gonna have to wash them to get this excess off, but let's see if we can get you a view here. Come on, light. There we go. So this is what we've got. You can really barely, I don't know, 
the light is on on all of these places, but it's still not very bright. I'm definitely going to have to include some photos from outside where you can really see. But yes. I'm going to wash my hands after this dries down a little bit, and then I'm going to include some photos, and then we will end the video. So here's the view from outside. It's much better. You can really see the red shine. You can see the glitter glisten and these little rhinestones. And you know, this, this look is a little bit Halloween-y, a little bit fall -y, but it wasn't really following any of those trends. It's just Kiara Sky. Alright guys, so that is the end. What do you think of regular nail polish by Kiara Sky? I think it's pretty good. I like it. Um, I am no professional, so I certainly could have done a better job and I'm sure you could also do a better job if you do have Kiara Sky nail polish. Tag me in some photos. Let me see what it's looking like for you. I'd be very interested. And if you've liked this video or the style that I've done, please leave a like on this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you've watched more than one video of mine so far, definitely subscribe. Clearly you like my content. So go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up with it and my future posts. And then leave a comment, of course. I always want to know what you have to say. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you have any tips or any suggestions, how you would have done it differently or how I could have improved it. Um, but that's really it. So thank you again for watching this video. As always, I appreciate you very much. Any interaction that you do have with my video will help the algorithm. So please do, and I will see you in the next one.